coach, you were 5-79 and 79 last year. Why the playoff talk? Well, we made a couple of key trades, and we got the funk. Oh, well, uh, glory be, the funk's on me, Bobby. Keep that funk alive. And unfortunately, the funk is, in fact, on me in the form of the dreaded black goop on my Nanal chassis and my Blast City arcade cabinet. So some of you guys might remember from past videos, I've had issues with the Blast City monitor in the past, namely convergence issues with color bleeding and just kind of not looking right on the monitor. I was able to clean this up a little bit, definitely improvement I would say, by using convergence strips which are basically just magnets attached to a piece of paper with adhesive on the end. You got to be careful but you can kind of slide these in around the back of the monitor and kind of you know fix the way the lights bending on the monitor and you know trial and error it's it's a tedious task but it definitely looks better than when I started. Since I've been going through and cleaning up a lot of the monitors and getting them recapped I decided that it was probably time for the Blast City to be recapped as well, and I wanted to have somebody take a look at that for me. And of course, when I go to pull this thing out, I see the dreaded black goop all over the chassis. For a while, there seemed to be a lot of debate about this stuff, but I think the consensus is now that, for the most part, surprisingly, the black goop is relatively harmless since it's non-conductive on the chassis. It seems to be potting compound that's leaking from one of the components here on the board. But nonetheless, I'm gonna get this board recapped. I want this stuff cleaned up, so I gotta pull it out and get it ready to be serviced. After I got the chassis out of the arcade cabinet, I actually had an issue where I, I thought I was missing a screw. I thought I had to have missed taking a screw off of the board that was attaching it to this metal mounting plate inside the cabinet, but no. That was actually just the amount of the black goop that was underneath the chassis that was working in like a glue-like fashion holding it to the board. So I had to get a hair dryer and heat this whole thing up and then pull it apart. So it was a little messy, but also not the worst thing that I've encountered as far as arcades go. So you guys already know where I'm going to turn for this. I'm gonna to go to Chad at Arcade Cup. The guy's just brilliant and a true master at repairing and going over arcade chassis and getting monitors back to where they used to be in their glory days. Unfortunately, I scroll through Chad's list and see that the MS2930, which is what is inside my Blast City, is not one of the monitor chassis that he works on. Now, I can only assume why that might be. Maybe it's a lack of parts. Maybe it's the black goop he's tired of dealing with. I don't know. I sent Chad a message and asked, hey, would you be willing, this monitor chassis is fully working as of today. It just got the black goop on it and I would like to have it recapped. And unfortunately, I just never heard back from Chad. However, on Twitter, after I posted a picture of this, Will at retrohacks.net said, hey, I'll be glad to take a look at that and I'll get you fixed up. So if you guys don't know Will, Will runs retrohacks.net. He is a very experienced modder and has done a number of different console upgrades and worked for me, has repaired an NES console. His prices are extremely fair. He's very communicative. You're gonna get updates on the projects that he's working on for you. And he's just an all around great guy. I saw on a forum, somebody took and placed the leaking component in essentially what amounts to a diaper. And Will said, you know, that's really not my style. I wanna to try to come up with a better solution for that. So. Again, uh, all credit goes to him for willing to take on this project. I did package it all up, set it out to Will, and hopefully uh, in the next month or two, I'll be getting that back. So stay tuned for part two of this video where we take a look at the work that Will performed on the chassis. If no doubt it will be recapped, and hopefully, maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some improvements on the overall picture. Now, convergence really, from what I've seen and read, isn't really a cap issue, but who knows, maybe overall this will be an improved picture, but at the very least, uh, take care of that component one way or the other that's leaking the black goop over the chassis, and we'll get the Blast City back to where it needs to be. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions, drop them down below. I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.